guys, it's time for Mission Inspiration, for July. Um, the first prompt for this month is to create paint across the page. So, uh, what I'm going to do, one of the colours is grey. So, I'm going to make a grey gesso. That's probably way too much paint, but... You'll see. I only want a dot of black. I've got two dots, but we can try not to mix that one in. There we go. And the second prompt, <coughs> sorry, is to put tea bags or coffee filters over the page so I've got some tea bags drying outside so I can empty the contents because it's a lovely lovely hot day again and they should be dry in no time we shall see there's way too much paint there but I can use it on something else it's fine here we go. Never waste it. I'm going to be using some um, cartridge paper. 100 pounds or 220 GSM. And I've just cut it out in the right shape. And I'm going to use this old card. And I'm just going to scrape the paint over. I'm not looking for complete coverage, but there we go. I think that will do. Now my paper's killed. <laughs> so I shall leave that to dry and I shall wipe that off onto something else. And I'll be back when my tea bags are dry and ready to go. Let's <clears throat> see if I can get this filmed before the builders come back. It's been a while since I started this. But we've had builders out the back. It's been very noisy. And uh, yeah. So I've got my tea bags. That have dried. And I'm gonna just turn them a little bit. Probably won't use all of these, but. There's one for a little bit. Right, and slap it on my medium. Not entirely sure where I'm going with this page. One of the steps is to use self-portrait and I don't know what what to use. I've got a couple of ideas but hmm just not sure.
So, um, yeah, one idea is just to put a sticker with my picture on it on the page. Um, and I can do that in colour or black and white. Or do I print a picture off and stick it on from paper so that it so I can blend it into the background a little bit, play with that. Or do I use a technique that I was taught by Claudia Rossi in one of her lessons and put a picture down and then paint over it. I'm kind of thinking I might do that. It's like a cheat's way of doing a self-portrait. But I need to find a picture that I like. I might go and have a look at the keywords and see if there's anything there that I think, oh, I've got a picture that matches that word or phrase. And I'll use that somehow. point I need to try tea bag painting because it looks kind of fun. I do love tea. So you know if I can incorporate that into my art that'd be brilliant. enough there. So I'm going to go away and have a little think about where this is going now um, and I'll be back when this is dry and I'm ready to move on. Okay so the builders have finished their tea break. Sorry about the noise. Next step is to add texture with stencil so I'm just going to use this. I've cut this using my Sizzix dies um, from this is shrink plastic before it's been shrunk <laughs> so let's see how well this works I don't know if I've ever used this one before
With that, let um, me just get a clean spatula to get rid of the excess there. Whilst I think about how I'm going to make these marks with my fingers, which is the next step. Uh, what colours and things? Mm, really? Okay, so I'll be back. So the next step is to make marks with your fingers. So I'm going to pop out some, just a little bit of that viridian. And a tad of cerulean. Yeah. And I'm going to mix them with white so they're a bit more pastel y. Set my white, here we go. Oh gosh, it's so warm. Make that one. And then what are we going to do, what are we going to do, we're going to stick our finger in it, get some paint, and I think we're just going to lightly mark, and here and there. Okay. 
Maybe just around the edge, actually, I think. Bring this border. Try not to stick my page in the paint. <laughs> There we go, I like that. Put my finger off onto my drop paper and we'll use the next finger for the green. Go. I like that. Just added a nice bit of colour to the page. Now, what was next? Uh, so we've made marks of our fingers. Add self portrait or photo of yourself. And I have this. My fiance took this picture of me on the beach. I'm flying a kite. Teeny tiny kite. Just this. <laughs> Um, and I've added the wings just for fun. <laughs> and I'm going to pop that there. And so for that, we need, oh, excuse me, matte medium. And I'm going to be careful because I haven't. Hmm, perhaps I should go and. No. Just won't put any over the top. I haven't um, sprayed it with fixative like I normally would. So we'll just be careful, otherwise the ink will run. And the noise is starting up again. Fantastic. I'll put some music over this bit. done stuck so now it is illegible text and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try writing with my left hand <laughs> my A went backwards then <laughs> is to add a word three times. Um, I'm just going to grab a stencil for that, so I'll be right back. There we go, so I've got my deco art stencil. Um, one of the words, suggested words, is freedom. Um, I'm just going to alter that bit because this stencil just says free. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to pop it there. And grab my sponge. Put some white paint out here. Sennelier and we're just going to stencil the word free three times. Try not to get that bit in. You can only just see that. So what 
I should really do is grab tape. Frail as a bird. Put this up there as well to make sure we don't get that bit in. Oops, sorry. And I can use that. Stick it down a bit. day off today. I'm going to go and see my grandma. I haven't seen her for a while. And here. Maybe. Over here. No, so that looks a bit too contrived. I'll put it there. just got it and I've used it twice already. Um deco art, let's see. The Urban Ink Collection and it's spirited stencil. And you get two in the pack. Which is very nice. And that's enough here. What I'm going to do is grab a little paintbrush. This brush needs washing, it's a bit stiff, but never mind. I'm just going to get rid of the where the bridges are in the stencil. Is that I know I just need to check what the last prompt is I think it's the last prompt I'll go and grab the card up yes as I thought the last step sparkle shine or luster so I've got some glitter glue and I'm going to very gently go over my wings maybe just a bit on the skirt as well it looks like the matte medium has actually soaked through the paper and the colours have gone a bit funny but I don't mind Here we go. Well, that is this month's mission inspiration done. Finally. <laughs> um, so what I will do 
is I will wait for this to dry, which won't take long, and I'll take some stills and put them at the end. It's the only problem sometimes with glitter glue, sometimes you just get glue with no glitter. <laughs> say thanks for watching and I will put the information for Mission Inspiration in the description below. So thank you, bye!